One Chattanooga man was living in parking lots, stealing from his family and robbing pharmacies to feed his drug addiction. Mm -hmm. Nearly 20 years went by before A.J. Morrow made a change. And tonight he's sharing his success story with people who are struggling like he once was. He's here with help and he's here with hope. Sydney Edwards joins us now with his story. Sydney. Josh and Kim, AJ grew up in Chattanooga. He began doing drugs at just 14 years old. It started with drinking, led to marijuana, and eventually pills and harder drugs. But all of this started after he suffered a traumatic experience involving a new friend. You know, we were real close and everything, and I actually was sexually molested by him as a child. This was AJ Morrow's first traumatic experience at 11 years old, and he didn't tell anyone. I was afraid that nobody would believe me or they would, like, disown me or, or make fun of me, you know, because I was living out of fear. Down the road, he made other friends, and they started drinking. AJ was 14. He went to Red Bank High School, Possibly smoked pot, yeah. and dropped out at 15. Marijuana. And at 18, he was using pills and drugs like Xanax, Coke, and meth. My parents looked at me and they said, you know, you got to get out of here. Like, we're done. We can't do this anymore. We're tired of seeing you like this. They found me nodded off on Xanax bars on their back porch. I was so sick one time, I looked at my ex-wife and I said, you know what? I'm going to go rob three pharmacies. And that's exactly what I did. I walked in, I handed him a note, and I got the drugs and I left. He was so high that night, he doesn't even remember the robbery. AJ was in and out of jail, and in the end, he was homeless and shooting heroin. I've lived in every Walmart parking lot in Chattanooga. I slept in four degree weather at the Walmart at the foot of Signal Mountain with nothing but a broke down car that I totaled on 75. Then he bought a thousand dollars worth of fentanyl because he wanted to die. When I woke up, I woke up to a black bag next to me. They were getting ready for the morgue. That's when AJ knew he needed help. And now he works to help folks just like him. It takes all of us sharing our experience, strength and hope and showing people the resources because there's resources for everybody. AJ says if you have that feeling that you want to get help, run with it. Because in the next hour, you might not want to. And the hour after that, you could be dead. Kim. Sydney, thank you. AJ is now 20 months sober. He tells us he plans to move back to Chattanooga from Florida to help people here who are on a very dangerous path.